Let's see one of the modifications of the Tiger. And this uh, black car is called Tiger Raid. Uh, it looks more like a, a normal Tiger. It has uh, a different hull with five doors. So it has two doors on each side and one in the rear. Let's open the hood. This is how this 215 horsepower engine looks like. Also, uh, this car has lots of different accessories installed, like floodlights, searchlights, and a 360 degrees video surveillance system. Let's see how to control them. Now we are inside and it looks quite normal uh, for, for, for the Tiger vehicle. So, but what we have in the center is this display where you see comes the information from the four cameras that are installed on top uh, all around the roof. So uh, both troopers and uh, the driver have all the information uh, that, that, uh, about the, what's going on, on around the vehicle. And um, the driver can use it for safe driving, for driving in poor visibility conditions, or for example, for reversing. Uh, for the troopers, they will ca can always stay alert. Other options, you have lots of lighting options. For example, you have these strobes like police can have. You can have different switches where you which can switch on flat lights that are um, on the roof of the vehicle, there's a special handle where you can direct, uh, change direction of the searchlight. Or if you push it downwards, you will activate an infrared searchlight right above me. Here it is. Uh, all other systems like an air conditioner is also here inherent inbuilt in this version. Let's see what difference we, we can see in the report. The protection level of this vehicle is the same uh, as in the basic version. Uh, what we see different is that we have a quick release rack on top of the roof above the rear hatch. The capacity of this rack is 200 kgs, so you can have 200 kgs of equipment, gear, of cargoes, for example, some bulky cargoes that you can transport. As for the configuration for the troopers, it has been modified here. There are still nine seats, but there are four seats facing forward because we now have four doors on the uh, two on each side. Um, according to the customer, any steps, ladders, handrails can be added for proper comfort of the troopers. And though it has nine seats, it is quite comfortable inside. It even has space for further equipment. For example, here we have this toolbox that um, where you can uh, store some additional equipment of yours. Uh, on this side, you have uh, two canisters of 20 liters each for storing water. As for the hatches, there are still two hatches, two rectangular hatches, but they are placed in the middle of the roof, one after another. This one is blocked because we have a rack above it, but the front one is open. And you can see that there are special armored shields around the hatch. And this shield protects the shooter when uh, the trooper uses his own individual weapons. What other things we can find about this car? Let's have a look. All cars normally have these floorboards to get in and out. As for the rate configuration, it has protective grills on all of the windows. Also, it has an additional loophole in the windshield, just right in front of uh, the uh, front passenger seat. When we talk about modifications, um, 
it doesn't concern only interior layout and additional equipment. Modifications of Tiger can also mean differences to the body itself. And this is the evidence to my words. This is the buggy version. So you can see that it's an open body car. So this version uh, has been developed to meet certain requirements of some countries which had the idea of creating a high-speed reconnaissance and assault vehicle uh, that would move over all types of terrains and perform quick break-ins. So, as you see, it is the frame of the Tiger vehicle with a special soft awning on top of it. You can close this awning on all, from all sides, but still, you can see there's not much that you can hide. Let's get in and see what's the difference. In this particular vehicle, we have a more powerful engine of 240 horsepower and an automatic gearbox. Um, but according to the requirements, uh, we can install a 215 horsepower engine or 240 horsepower engine, manual or automatic gearboxes and the interior again can be made to the requirements of the customer. So in this vehicle we have seating capacity of five including the driver with all seats made as anti-traumatic seats uh, that are hinged to the frame to protect the crews. The weight of this vehicle is 4.8 tons but as the chassis are the same as the Tiger vehicle has, it has an unbelievably great payload capacity of 3.4 tons. So just imagine how much payload you can have on this vehicle. So the troopers can get in and out using sides or this big gap in the rear. You can have additional uh, letters or steps if you need. And as it has only five seats, there's so much space inside, which can be used uh, to your mission. For example, you can have any additional equipment, tools, gears. Here we have these cans for additional, with additional fuel, for example. You have storage places, different brackets and rails where you can store equipment tools that you need for your particular mission. There are brackets on top, there are brackets on the side and here in the middle. So this is a specifically made, dedicated version of the Tiger. But when we talk about dedication and missions, we cannot forget the medical version. And it's one of the most dedicated versions of the vehicle that can be made. So of course, what's a medical vehicle? It was meant to collect and rescue injured and wounded people from battlefields, from epicenters of catastrophes and man-made disasters. It is an armored vehicle with great cross-country performance that will help you save your civilians and military men from all parts of your country. So this vehicle has a bigger hull with bigger volume and let's see how it differs from inside. The rear door is just one part door, but it has two, two parts. The uh, upper part is just the door, while the lower part is made into a ladder, very comfy ladder. As for the capacity, you can have up to six wounded people sitting here with a medical assistant like me facing backward in the aisle. There are specific folding brackets for stretchers. So if you have line pa patients, you can have up to four stretchers installed, two to each side. You can have this vehicle as a mobile dressing room. You can have this vehicle uh, made as a, I don't know, it's kind of a first aid station, for example, in the field. And just to show you how spacious it is, I'll stand up and I'm almost fully upright here. So there's really much space which can be used not only for storing medical equipment, but some other equipment. For example, communication equipment. 
you can make such vehicle into a command post or a communication center uh, if you need. And Tigers, that's the, their peculiarity. They have a wide range of vehicles and all these vehicles, they are meant to solve any task, any mission that you may have. That's it, what I have for the shop floor. Now we will stream a short video film where you can see these vehicles in operation and then we will meet again in the office. Today, we showed you just a tiny assortment of a huge range of products made by the military industrial company. Hopefully, in the future, we will uncover new models and new products. If you don't want to miss anything, then right now, subscribe to this YouTube channel. This is the official channel of joint stock company Ross Abaron Export, which is the only state-controlled intermediary in the sphere of export and import of the entire range of military and dual-purpose products, technologies and services.